everyone, thanks for watching. My name is Kelly and today I will be showing you my beauty collection. This will include my nail polish, my makeup, and my hair care products. This will not only get you a look at what I have, but how I store my products as well. Just a little disclaimer, my collection is not a huge crazy one like some YouTubers may have. Mine is a very realistic collection that an everyday girl may have. It's the perfect size for me because I don't like any products just sitting and not getting put to use. So I frequently go through my collection and declutter and see if I'm using everything that I own or if I'm going to use it. Um, with that being said, let's get started. Starting off, all my makeup is located on top of my dresser in my bedroom. This dresser is from Ikea and it was very inexpensive. Of course, you have to assemble it yourself like all Ikea furniture, but it was definitely worth it. I love the height of it as well. It's a little higher up than I feel like most dressers are. So it's really easy to go through your makeup. You don't have to bend over or anything. On top of it, I have all my makeup located in different beauty organizers, and I will go through those individually with you next. On the far left, we have two of my favorite hand creams. We have the Cake Heavy Cream by Cake Beauty that smells just like cake, and we have the Big Fat Yummy Hand Cream by Perfectly Posh in their Oh Snap Grapefruit scent. These are definitely two must-haves if you love hand lotions. Next to that we have our acrylic organizer that holds all my lip products and my highlighters and a blush. So in the very front we have some Tarte Lippies that I got from a holiday collection a couple years ago. We have Revlon, Lancome, some Ipsy products, Wet n Wild, more Tarte Lip Paints. We have NYX, taller liquid lipsticks and lip glosses, lip liners. I love the Wet n Wild gel ones, they're only like $3. And then getting down here, I have the Casey Holmes Smashbox palette for her highlighters. I have the gold one, not the lighter one, which is her pearl palette. I have the Naked Cosmetics Illuminator, which just makes you very nice and shining and sparkly. And I have the Wet n Wild Highlighter palette. And I have a Milani blush in Luminoso. I also have a Tristique Highlighter Crayon, which I'm almost out of. And I have the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in a rosy pink color. In the center, I have this perfume tray from Target. Instead of holding all my perfumes and whatnot, I also have makeup on it. So I have these different holders for my brushes. These are my face brushes and this Audrey Hepburn cup I use my eyeshadow brushes for. Um, the Real Technique brushes are definitely my favorite. I just washed mine, which took like two months in the making. Um, finally did that today, so if they look a little wet, excuse that. Um, definitely the Real Technique brushes I love because they're inexpensive and they work really well. Other brushes came from palettes or Ipsy bags. Over here we have a Bath & Body Works A Thousand Wishes Body Spray. I have a Dolce & Cabana Light Blue perfume, which smells really good. I have a Kenzie perfume, which was from an Ipsy bag, and I have two of the Daisy Mark Jacob mini perfumes. In the center, I have my eyeshadow palettes, and I will open those all up for you and go through them each individually since we don't have too many. First, I have my Pretty Eyes palette by Ciate. I feel like these palettes aren't really talked about a lot on YouTube. I've only seen like one video about them, but they're really, really great. They come in all different colors. They have other ones as well. This is, I would say, is the most um, neutral palette when you could work with the most. The other ones are kind of crazier in color. Um, I definitely like this palette a lot, and I think it's just super adorable. Next, I have the Lorac Unzip Palette. This one's kind of a mess. Um, I have it in the rosy shades. I don't have it in the gold one. I definitely love this palette a lot. The quality is outstanding, and you just create gorgeous looks with this. Over here, I have my Smashbox Exposure Palette. This is the oldest palette I have in this collection right now. My first high-end palette was the Naked Palette, which I got rid of because it was just getting old and used up. And the second one I had was this one. So as you can see, this one's kind of in some rough shape. This palette is okay. It could be better. It's a little chalky and chunky. Um, I definitely like my other palettes better, but I just love all the neutral shades in this. Next, I have my Kathleen Lights palette by Morphe. I love this palette. It was just a gift given to me for my birthday. Um, it, the colors are gorgeous. The pigmentation's great. Um, definitely love Morphe. It's my first Morphe palette, so I was so excited when I got this. The shades are just beautiful. 
Next, I have my Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette by Tarte. I would definitely say Tarte is one of my favorite makeup brands. The colors just go perfect with my green eyes and my hair color, and the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter, oh my gosh, are amazing. I love the highlighter so much. It's so bright. I get so many compliments on it. Same with the blush. Um, it's just so great. So I love this palette. I'm so glad I got it. It was on sale for a Tarte online sale, and I just had to have it. Next, I have the Carly Bible Palette by BH Cosmetics. This palette is so inexpensive. It's like $15. You can get it at Ulta now. You can use a coupon, and it's so great. It has all these neutral colors that you can wear literally every single day if you want to and go with any outfit. The highlighters I can kind of use as like an eyeshadow too. I don't really use them as a highlighter. This is just this is just so great if you're looking for an inexpensive palette to travel with and whatnot. On the far right, I have this other acrylic beauty organizer. In the center here, I have a bunch of eyeliners. Ipsy kept sending me eyeliners and I finally told them to stop and yet they sent me another one, so I'm definitely becoming a hoarder. Um, next over here, I have my mascaras. I have the Voluminous Curved Brush one by L'Oreal, and I got a new one in my Ipsy bag that I need to try. Over here I have my NYX concealer, and I have my True Match L'Oreal foundation. Over here I have some eyeshadow primers that came with palettes, Lorac and Smashbox, and I have Smashbox primers as well. Their primers are really, really good. Over here I have some chapsticks. I have a sharpener from Ulta, and over here I have some single eyeshadows. I have by Naked Cosmetics, one by ColourPop, NYX, and Urban Decay. If you open up this first drawer, I have a Pacifica palette, which I just got in my Ipsy bag. I have my Wet n Wild palette. This is like really good for the price, only $5. Everyone says it's great, and it's true. You should get it. I have my Beach Cosmetics Foil Eyes on the go. I have my Ciate Bronzer that I actually use as an eyeshadow because I just feel like the pan is small. Over here I have some of the Balm Cosmetics eyeshadows. This one could be a blush or an eyeshadow. I have a Hikari eyeshadow. This adorable Jelly Pong Pong um, Paris palette. Um, it's their Neapolitan palette and it's just adorable. It's like Neapolitan ice cream and it works really good. And then I have another really little eyeshadow from Ipsy. So all of those are my single or small palette eyeshadows. Over here, I just declutter a little bit, so this is really empty. I have one set of lashes, glue, tweezers, Anastasia brow, and I have some other brow products in here too. Over here I have my Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel London. This one's almost used up and it's in really tough shape. I don't know what it is with the packaging on this, but no matter when I get this, it always gets cracked. I think it's just really cheap packaging. Next I have my Physicia's Formula Bronze Booster and I have a little Pacifica bronzer. I feel like it may be too dark for me, so we'll see about that. Over on the bottom right of my dresser, I have some of my hair care products, lotions, and whatnot. I have cleansers in here from Ulta, from the brand Formula 10.0.6. I believe that's what it's called. There's all different things in here. Um, over in this little container, I have some Ipsy bags. I generally just keep my favorite Ipsy bags that I think are adorable. I have some lotions some hairspray, I have some acne products, um, some little mini cleansers in here as well. It's kind of just random, I just keep it in here. I have some coconut oil for my hair. This John Frieda gel is great if you have flyaways or baby hairs that you need to tame. Deodorant, eyelash curler, and I have this little cosmetics bag for my nail stuff. Now in this thing, this is from Five Below, this was only $5 and it sets up, you set it up yourself and it's like a little hassock type thing that you can store things in and so I have like my straightener, my curling iron and other stuff in there as well. So here is my nail polish collection on this acrylic beauty rack as well. This can be found on Amazon for I think around $15 to $20 if you want to have a nail polish rack in your room. 
I definitely love doing my nails and I love my nail polish so I love that it's all displayed nicely for me and it's not in a random bin. So just a disclaimer too, a lot of these nail polishes are around $10 but they were either given to me as a gift or I found them on sale for a super good price. I rarely ever pay full price for like anything. So starting in the front here on top, we have my OPIs. Then I have my mini collection, Breakfast at Tiffany's collection. Over here I have some Victoria's Secret glitters that I like to put on my accent nail. Then I have my Essies. My mini Essies. These two were from the mini um, summer collection from last year. And then I have four from the winter collection from last year. Over here are my Zoya nail polishes. I think Zoya is almost my favorite nail polish brand, I think, just because I have such good luck with their nail polish. I feel like it just stays on for a really, really long time. Over here I have my Ciate nail polishes. This is a top coat. Sally Hansen, her Extreme Wear nail polish is like almost $3 at any store. And I would say this is my favorite nail polish that is low end drugstore brand because it stays on for a good time and I think the colors are great. Over here I have my China Glaze. I have one full size and the rest are mini. And then the rest of these are just kind of random. A lot of them probably came from Ipsy bags. So I have a Butter London. That one's not from Ipsy, but this one is the Trust Fund Beauty. This is from Ipsy Koki Cosmetics. I have this one also from Ipsy. This I just found on sale for super cheap. And then Dermalect was from Ipsy and these twin nail polishes by Meg. So that is my whole entire collection. I kind of just wanted to do an overview of it. So sorry if you wanted me to go into full detail and I didn't as much. I'm also really sick right now. So if my voice sounds very nasally, I'm sorry. Or if you heard sniffling or coughing. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.